Welcome to Deep End Channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 reasons to invest in the stock market. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Most people have considered investing in the stock market at some point. Their motivations for starting to invest may differ, but the end goal remains the same, to make money. However, they were hesitant to take the next steps because of various myths or misconceptions they had heard from their uncle or close relatives. Our family members, friends, and news stations have all advised us to avoid the market for a long time. For many people, the prevalent belief that stock investment is like gambling has become more of a fact than a myth. Number 10. To keep pace with inflation. As defined by the Federal Reserve, inflation is a state in which prices are rising while the value of money's purchasing power is diminishing. An economy can have inflation if the total amount of money grows by a significant amount. In general, inflation is not a good situation for the average person. Let us use an example to better understand inflation. Consider the following scenario, you have RS.5 lakhs in your account and you want to purchase a car, which now costs RS.5 lakhs. You, on the other hand, changed your mind and decided to purchase the car the next year, keeping your money in your savings account. The bank is offering you a competitive interest rate of 3.5% per annum. Now, let's fast forward to the following year. You went to the bank and returned home joyfully with your money, which has grown to RS.517 lakhs now in today's money. After that, you went to the automobile dealership. But then there's a bang. You are subjected to shock. In the meantime, the price of that car has jumped to RS 5.5 lakhs. The car, which you might have easily purchased last year, is now out of reach for you due to your financial situation. That is the result of inflation. The same thing happens with groceries, or with any other things that you purchase, and the price of those products increases over time. For the most part, if you wish to beat inflation, you must invest your money wisely in high-yielding investment vehicles. And the stock market is the finest location for savvy investors to put their money. If you invest in stocks of well-run firms, you can expect to earn a reasonable, consistent return of 12-18% per year, depending on how strong the stock is and how much time you put into selecting it. As a result, if you want to stay up with rising inflation, investing in the stock market is an excellent option. Number 9. Most Capital Growth Potential Stocks and real estate have been the two investments in India that have consistently outperformed all other types of investments during the past two decades. Whether it is fixed deposits, insurance, bonds, or commodities such as gold, silver, petroleum, and so on, the stock market has consistently outperformed all other types of investments by providing the highest returns on the investments made. As a result, given the great growth potential of the stock market, it is always wise to invest in stocks for individuals looking to increase their wealth. Number 8. Investing makes your money work for you. Money is required to purchase comforts as well as in all other facets of life. The majority of people claim that they do not labor for money and that a lack of funds is the basis of most of their issues. Investing, on the other hand, is the solution to this dilemma. The only thing you have to do is sit around and do nothing if you put your money into reputable companies. As the company grows, the value of your money will increase. In the meantime, while your money is increasing on its own, you can use your free time to devote your attention to your principal employment or to pursue other interests. You can use this method to make your money work for you as opposed to your primary employment where you must work for money. Number 7. Stock investing requires as little amount as buying a burger. Among many people, there is a widespread idea that they must have a large sum of money to begin investing in the stock market. That, however, is not the case. With as little money as it takes to purchase a burger, you can get started investing. There are a lot of stocks with a market capitalization of less than RS100. You can start earning good returns on your investment with a very little sum of money. Other types of assets, such as gold or real estate, do not have this choice available to them. Additionally, remembering a small portion of something every day adds up to a significant effect. Number 6. You do not need to be a genius to invest in stock market. If you can grasp fifth grade math, you can understand the stock market, says the author, Peter Lynch et al. Peter Lynch is one of the most well-known fund managers in the world, 
and he is best known for providing an annualized return of approximately 30% for 13 years at Fidelity. He consistently encourages ordinary people to engage in inequities, stating that the stock market is for everyone to participate in. If you want to invest in the stock market, you don't have to be brilliant or a rocket scientist. In contrast to most businesses or startups, investing in the stock market requires only a small amount of money, education, time, and interest to get started. By investing in the stock market, anyone may earn a respectable return on their money. Number 5. Investing in stocks is a lot easier now. Investing and trading with an online brokerage account has become easier in recent years. With the help of prominent online brokers, you can now buy and sell stocks from the comfort of your own home using your smartphone. Furthermore, with the proliferation of financial websites and applications, locating and selecting stocks has become easier. You no longer have to go through all of the tedious financial periodicals and publications, and you no longer have to rely on newsletters to keep up with the company's financial reporting. Number 4. Tax Benefits from Government on Stock Investing When it comes to investing in the stock market, there are numerous tax advantages. Long-term capital gains are taxed at a rate of 10% on amounts exceeding RS1 lakh. Nonetheless, this is a better return than the 6.5% offered by FDES, which is also subject to a tax of up to 10-30% to depending on your tax bracket. And as a result, the adage, the rich pay less tax, has become common. Number 3. You do not always have to pick hidden treasures. There are several additional examples of common stocks that have generated returns over several hundred percent throughout the last few years as well. For example, Asian Paints, Indistan Unilever, HDFC Bank, Symphony, Maruti Suzuki, Titan Company, and many more are examples of large corporations. This group of companies is well known to the general public people can readily locate such thriving enterprises in their immediate vicinity because they are already familiar with their items. In short, it is not always expected that you will discover a hidden gem or a chemical stock that is extremely uncommon or unheard of. All you have to do is seek around for outstanding companies that offer incredible products and make an investment in them. Number 2. To create an alternate source of income, get a well-paying, safe, and secure job has been drilled into us since elementary school. What is not addressed is what will happen if you are fired or if the company is forced to close its doors permanently. We should always have a variety of sources of income available to us. An investment in the stock market can help the average person generate this additional stream of income. According to Forbes, the majority of people spend their entire lives occupied by their jobs at their places of employment. Investing in the stock market might serve as a second source of income for those who meet the criteria. They can continuously increase their additional income by capitalizing on value appreciation and dividends. As a result, people should begin to make stock market investments as soon as possible. Number 1. The Power of Compounding Through Long-Term Investments The use of stocks allows you to take advantage of compound interest, which allows you to expand your wealth at an exponential rate. The majority of bank savings accounts pay you a straightforward interest rate on your money. Compounding returns, on the other hand, can be obtained by investing in stocks. Compounding is the eighth wonder of the world, Albert Einstein, a famous physicist, once said about his work. Warren Buffett, the world's most successful investor, is credited with a compounded annual return of approximately 22% over the last five decades. Furthermore, this compounded return over a long period has made him one of the wealthiest people on the planet. One of the most compelling arguments for investing in the stock market is the ability to compound to increase returns. What do you think about the video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.